Hello, it's Melinda from Scrapbooking and Craft and I've come up with another haul. Oh, COVID is hopeless. I see all these specials and decide to buy some things. This was another mystery box. So I'm a bit of a sucker for these. This was the same company that I got the Jane Davenport mystery box from because I heard they were closing down. Now we're doing some of these specials and apparently now they're not closing down. I don't know what's going on. It's called the Crafty Chain in Queensland. So this was a few things on special I got with their last promotion. Just move the box out of the way. So I got, the first thing I got was a Halloween stamp. These were down to $20, normally $36, $37. This was last year's release. Now I never picked this one up. I love the spider's web and I love the skull, the mask. So I can't wait to play with this. So it's the Tim Holtz stamp. So I thought that was a good bargain at $20. Starting to build up some of my collection of um, Stampers Anonymous and Tim Holtz and Delusion stamps. When I can get them around the $20 mark, they're a little, um, I can get twice as many if I get them around the, under the $20 mark. So I have been picking up some of those up secondhand, um, but I got that one new. The deal was they had $50 worth of dies and embossing folders um, for $25. And then they had $25 worth of Go Press foil embossing dies plus four rolls of, four rolls of foil for... Uh, $25 was $50 down to $25. So I thought for $25, I'll see what embossing dies and um, embossing folders and dies I can get. So I'm quite happy with what I got. Um, definitely worth the $25 um, because they make them half price. This one is probably the only one I won't use. Um, so this one may be passed on to a friend. This is engaged and it's got two little rings on it. This would be great for my friend that makes lots of cards. And you probably know who you are. Um, so watch out. There will be a message coming your way asking, will you use it? So it's quite a small die. This is engaged and it's got two rings. So it's really cute. Not something I would ever use. And I may as well pass it on to a friend. That's what I thought with these dies. Even if I liked half of them, I could pass on the rest to um, friends and send them some happy mail. So that one engaged, not too happy with that one, but that's okay. So that's Couture Creations. It's a mini size one. Um, so this one looks interesting. This is Couture. Who's this by? No idea. The Sea Siren Collection. I'm trying to look for a manufacturer. So this Couture up the top, but I can't read that. Might be Couture Creations. Apparently, I haven't even opened this one yet. I had a quick look in the box just to make sure everything was in the box that they said they'd send out. Um, so this one is obviously a shell and it looks like you cut it in the middle of the card and the two side bits stay stuck, but it's like a pop out thing. Oh yes. Yeah, so there's cutting bits missing from here. So where my thumbs are stays connected to the card. I should have cut one of these. I've got a fold line down the middle. So that will be fun to play with. Hmm, maybe I have to cut some and send it to the friend that I'm sending these to. You know who you are. <laughs> I was having an iron where I liked this one when I had a quick look, but I think I'm going to have a play with it and see. I'm not a confident card maker, I'll put it that way, but I'm having a go. This might be fun in my art journal too. Ooh, ooh no, I lost it. Keeping it for my art journal now. Then I got some embossing folders. So it was embossing folders slash die um, package. I don't have any recent embossing folders. I'm trying to find. This one is a Christmas one. Well, sort of, maybe. What's the name of it? Universal Embossing Folder. The Harmony Collection. Well, it looks a bit Christmassy. I can get away with Christmassy. You're probably not going to see. It's a border one. Has it got it on the back here? I can show you. It's, is it that one? Yeah, it's that one there next to the, it's even probably worse. It's this one next to the tree. So it's got, um, Sort of borders all around it, and then it's got a blank bit in the middle. Oh, vine frame, a dur in big letters. Um, I don't have a lot of recent embossing folders. All my embossing folders are years old. So I thought if I doubled up again, I would um, pass them on to friends. But I really like that one. This one I like. This one is a Kaisercraft embossing folder, and it's called... No idea. Victoria. Victoria. Victorian. Victoria. And it's beautiful um, flourishes. So that will be fun. I like embossing my chipboard. This one, yeah, don't know whether I would have picked up myself, but this one I probably would have because I like the bold lines of it. This one is interesting. This one is called, 
possum folder little little buds again it's probably not something i would have picked up but hey i'll use it alexis loves using my embossing folders so this one is intricate backgrounds see five by seven cars distributed by art deco creation so it's a couture creations one and it's intricate backgrounds oh it's this one here oh that's kind of cool it's that one i wonder if i take it out and you'll be able to see it more that background so that will look really nice so i've got a few that are small like this and i've got a few that are more chunky so it's a good variety i was really happy to see this one um ticket die now i've been wanting to buy a ticket die like this for ages but i just haven't got around to it um seriously do we need to put it in this bigger package though really bit of overkill <laughs> so i've got the four ticket die and the two ticket die so i was really happy with this something i will enjoy using it looks like they're both stuck together so it looks like i'll be cutting both of them at once which is not a big deal but yeah the packaging a bit of overkill you could have had a third of the size i don't know some people um pa over package things so that will be fun to use so i was really happy with the um the embossing the folders and dies the only one i didn't like was the engaged little one but again make a good present for a friend and i'm gonna have fun with this i reckon this might make interesting um art journal page then oh this video is taking forever then they sent me the same sticker sheet they sent last time must have a few of these just some christmas stickers then this was the stamp and uh, hot foil embossing dies now i do have a hot foil um i'll just bring these back in the box I do have a hot foil um go press that i bought when lincraft had a sale last year used it once couldn't get really good results sort of put it aside sort of forgot about it must go down and reuse it um so these are four metallic rolls so this was a bonus if you bought the 25 dollars worth of dies i did don't have many of these so i thought oh, i won't double up how much is on here so we've got apparently gold satin gold satin silver and holographic silver oh the holographic silver is cute um five meters each roll so that's really cool because well 24.50 these retail for about five dollars ish or four dollars ish a roll um so they'll be fun to use and then i got a bunch of go press doils um go press what am i trying to say go foil dies like they're for foiling and for cutting so this one cut foil and emboss oh cut foils and embosses i don't have any of those that cut foil and emboss i only had the ones that come with the machine a couple i've picked up so this looks like fun what i've also seen people do is instead of foiling you can ink it up with some ink run it through and then you get ink instead of foil which i've got some permanent archival inks which will be fun to use and then i can use them in my art journal so i got them for that purpose as well so i've got this one probably not something i'd pick up myself but i'll use this one i really like this one is really cool a bit small but oh, the first one was Couture Creations Garden Background. This one is Le Pete. Oh, this is a Couture Creations again. Floral Arrangement 3. So I really like that floral arrangement. Um, as I said, a bit small, but I can see myself inking this up even with black, running it through. So I think this one just foils. Hot foil stamp. Okay, so I have to fussy cut, but that's okay. I can fussy cut around that. This one cuts. That's just a hot foil stamp. This one was probably the only one I went, eh. Petite Jardian Border. So this again foils, but I can see it's quite small too. I can see myself inking this one up um, and using them like a stamp and then cutting. That would be quite easy to sort of cut and then I could use that as a border, cut it in between. This one's cute, the rose. I don't think I've got anything like the rose. This one is classic rose one piece. Oh, this is an Anna Griffin one. Ooh, cool. What's this for? Is this a... I think this just embosses. This doesn't cut because it doesn't have any of the cutting lines on it. So again, that would be really cool. Um, the leaves I like. And the flower. This one's just a hot foil one, I believe. And this one is really cool as well. So this one's an Anna Griffin one. Thorny branches. And I believe this is a... Ooh, I just had an idea. If I, ooh, that might be a video. 
some idea. If I ink these up and put, run them through tissue paper or like deli paper or greaseproof paper, when I stick it down in my art journal, it almost disappear. Then I don't have to fussy cut it out. Well, I can fussy cut it, but I don't have to be fussy fussy. Ooh, I might have a go because I'll use them more like that than possibly foiling. Um, but I thought they weren't bad for $25 plus the foils. 25 So I believe these were going on the value that retail for about $10 each. So I got them for $5 each and I got that for free. So it's about $75 worth of value for $25. So I thought that's really cool. That's a nice size one. That would look awesome in a background and art journal. Okay, that might be a video on my to-do list showing you how to ink these up. Um, and I don't mind if they stain with permanent ink because, hey, I can get it off with ink cleanser. But that would be fun and this one would be fun too. Mm, okay, that's going on my I want to try and I'll video it for you guys. Um, because even if you don't have a hot foil machine, if you see any of these on clearance or if you see any of these that you like, I'll show you how to use them as a stamp. But you do have to have the die cutting machine as a stamp. Um, as to actually, you could, eh, no, you probably need it. We might try it without it too. Um, but I'm excited to try those. So happy with my designs. Again, these two are probably not two that I pick up, but eh, I'll use them. This one's a bit small, but it's really cute. It'll be nice as an all over design or a border. That would be nice as a border. So thank you very much. I've not used this brand of foil before either, so this will be interesting. What brand is it? Made in China. Everything's made in China. Ported by the United Kingdom, so I've not even heard of this brand. Usually I use the GoPress and foil brand foils. So that was my little um, mystery box. Of items, I'm very happy with what I got. Even if I wasn't happy with what I got, it's sort of my fault for buying a mystery box. But I'm actually presently surprised with what I got. Um, so I will tend to use all of these in some form or the other. And I must get my GoPress and foil machine out and use it. Um, I just haven't had time. I've been working. Work has just been, since COVID-19 hit, work has just been a lot more work. Um, I'm spending a lot of time updating my website, making new products, and we're starting to get um, a fair trickle of orders through, which is fantastic. Taking part in several events once a month, and then I teach at a retreat, which turned from actual in-person to virtual, which means I film all my classes instead of... Um, so instead of making a project and turning up to a show or turning up to a class and teaching it, so I've made the project once and then... I go and teach it. I've just got a weird noise. Sorry about that. My daughter's got a portable fan and she's just got it on and I was wondering what the noise was. Um, so, yes, as I was saying, I usually develop a concept or a class, turn up to a retreat or a craft show and teach it for two hours. That's great. And I'll sometimes teach it multiple times. means I don't have to put, I don't put as much work into it. But now with online classes, I have to make the product or make the page card or whatever I'm going to teach. I have to then make it again and film it. I have to edit the video, which takes forever. And then I have to upload all pictures. And then I have to be online to answer all questions and stuff, which I don't mind doing. It's fantastic. But it's just a lot more time consuming um, than just making something, turning up for a two-hour class, teaching it, and I'm done. <laughs> so it's certainly filling my hours during COVID, which is fantastic. But it has left this channel a bit um, neglected. I'm hoping to remedy that. Um, hasn't neglected my shopping. I've still gone and done some shopping, which is terrible, but <laughs> it's too easy to go click and wait for the postie to bring it. Thank you very much for watching. I will do a video of these using these as stamps. Um, so if you are see any of these on special or on sale and you don't have a foil machine, I'll show you how you can use them as stamps, which will be really cool. Um, so I will leave it there. And I use a lot of embossing folders with my chipboard as well. I emboss chipboard and paper. And my daughter is now getting into polymer clay. So she'll use some of these as well. So that will be really, really cool. So I'll leave it there. I've natted enough. Thank you very much. And welcome to all our new subscribers. We've had a little bit of a trickle, even though I haven't been doing a lot of videos. Um, I endeavour to be a bit more regular on this channel. It's just 
life gets in my way of doing everything lately. If it's not the child, it's the business. If it's not that, it's me having an off day, an off week, not having enough time. If not, it's technology. You know all about the bunnies eating my charger cord. I've had a laptop that's three months old that needs to go and refer for repairs but I can't send it in until like I can send another laptop up that I can run my machine off and it's just a whole big oh, I'm over technology if I could go live in the stone age for six months I'd be happy wouldn't have any money but I'd be happy no I'm just I don't know technology and I are just not friends lately um so it seems everything I touch with technology just breaks <laughs> I don't know. So hopefully I'll be a bit more regular on this channel, bringing you some more art journal pages and fooling around. Just have to be more organised with my time. But we'll get there. Organised is not a word I use very often. I've got to go set up for a live I'm doing tomorrow with my business. So I've got to make all my examples and half done things for that. I feel like a television chef. And here's one I prepared earlier in different stages so you don't have to watch me do all the boring stuff. <laughs> And it's so funny. Um, I will chat to you all soon and leave us a comment down below and I will chat to you soon. Bye for now.